Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so, and definitely continue to share my content with others. You can also leave a comment below, or you can ask a question, and I will be happy to answer it. If you take a look at my screen, you will see that I have four of my audiobooks posted. The Temporary Mistress, The Notorious Bachelor, the Dangerous Invitation, The Wicked Crush. These are all currently available anywhere audiobooks are sold, so definitely check them out. Today, I want to talk about the world of audiobooks. I am just in love with the idea and the prospect of creating material that can be listened to and enjoyed while people travel to and from work, while they go on vacation, or while they're doing household chores, or while they're exercising. I like the idea of providing dramatized uh, audio books that can just bring my world of writing alive and can show a new dimension and a new aspect to my writing. Because I see audiobooks as an extension of my written work, I have decided to intentionally produce at least, at least one audiobook a year. I want to start to grow my audiobook catalog just as I've grown my ebook catalog. And the best way to do that is to start planning and start saving money and start strategizing because I believe the world of audiobooks can just open up a whole new uh, audience uh, for me, a whole new group of people that will appreciate my work. And I also think that it is the way of the future. So many people are listening to either audiobooks or podcasts or some type of audio um, input while they're going about their day. And I want to be a part of that. I missed out on the ebook craze when it very, when it began in the very beginning, but I don't want to do the same with the audiobook craze. I feel like this is my chance to grow and to expand and to present my brand. And so I am intentionally creating audiobooks and I want to encourage you to look into that. I know it can be costly. I know there are different um ways in which people can create audiobooks. I know some people will work out an agreement with a narrator and they will split or they will share the um the earnings. But for me, I like to pay for my audiobooks outright. I would like all the money to come directly to me. Obviously, I have to share what I earn with the the aggregator, the people that uh, send my audiobooks out to the different platforms. I understand that, but I would like to keep the bulk of the money uh, and because I did the work and um, and I am I want to invest in myself and in my craft and in my writing. And uh, when the books do take off, I don't want to be concerned with. Uh, um, with splitting the profits. So for me, the best thing to do is to pay for my audiobooks outright. And a strategy that I have is sometimes I will produce audiobooks that are maybe two and a half, half hours long or maybe three hours long. Those will obviously cost less to produce than, than audiobooks that may be nine hours long, 10 hours long. So I want to offer a range of both long-term uh, audiobook projects and short-term audiobook projects. And for those people that may just want a quick listen, uh, as I said, while they commute, they can listen to maybe an audiobook that is maybe an hour, hour and a half long. So obviously you will decide what fits you best. But for me, I'd like to have a range of audiobooks. Uh, like I said, either three hours, nine hours, 10 hours, uh, in that range. I also want to diversify my audiobooks. I currently have young adult audiobooks. I have uh, suspense audiobooks and I have romance audiobooks. I also have them in two pen names, EF Griffin and Elizabeth Griffin. And that works for me. As some of you may know, I recently posted a video talking about Tyler Perry and his productions and all the things that he's doing and his creativity. And in looking at him, I'm realizing that success doesn't come overnight. Success 
is something that you continually have to work at. And even though you may not see the benefits in your in your work ethics and in the things that you're doing, it doesn't mean that you are not reaching people. It doesn't mean that you are not um, you're not progressing to the next level. You just need to always, always believe in yourself, always, always push yourself and always, always think about what you want, what you want to accomplish. And for me, the joy in creating audiobooks is is just it's something that I can't even express, like the, the happiness I feel at being able to entertain people at being able to share my ideas, my thoughts of allowing people to fall in love with my characters. It just, it makes me so happy. And it makes me realize that I don't know where my career will end. I don't know what the next step is, but I know it's important for me to not give up and to continue to produce, 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 and produce. So as always, thank you for joining me on my platform. I'm wishing you love, peace, joy, happiness, and much success. Until next time, bye-bye.